going on guys? Today we're going to learn how to do a CN machine row. And it's going to be in a couple steps. So what we want to do is make sure we're not using our biceps. Our biceps will be coming into play while we do this movement and on most back movements, but we want to minimize that and remember which body part we're using. First things first, uh, sometimes the platform is a little bit closer, sometimes it's further. The way I like to do it is put one foot on, grab the bar, and then put the other foot on. So, first thing you want to do is make sure your chest is up. Chest is up and out. So, you always want to have like a lion complex. Once that is done, you want to make sure your shoulders are back. You don't want to Back. First thing you want to do is aim at the hips. Move forward as far as you can without rolling your shoulders. The minute you roll your shoulders forward, you stop completely out of position. So what you want to do is let your hips guide you and do not let your arms go any of the worst. Your arms are basically just hooks at this point. What I'm going to do is hinge at my hips, lean forward, up until I can't, can't lean anymore. Once I can't, then what I'm going to do is come back and push back and squeeze and squeeze my elbows together. Okay, so let me do a couple reps and just do what I need. Okay, so I want you guys to notice that I'm not swinging back and forth. I'll show you how not to do it and how you might see some people in the gym doing it with a ton of weight on there with excessive swinging. We don't want to do that. We want to focus on our back. That's the muscle we're working here. We're not working our shoulders. We're not working our biceps. We just want to only work on our back on this exercise. So this is how not to do it. That will hit your back and you will feel it, but you're not optimally using your time right. Where you want to place the bar as you're pulling in, just somewhere around mid-waist. That's going to be the best area. Uh, the higher you go or the lower you go, it's going to work different parts of your back. The way I want you to do it, just coming to mid-waist. That way you can make sure you're getting money. That's how to do a seated machine row. Correct myself really quick, guys. There is some swinging, but I'm not using any momentum. So these first couple of reps right here is the correct way I'm doing it. I am swinging, but as I said, not using momentum. Now, as you'll see, this is what I mean by swinging and using momentum. I put a little slide up so you guys do know and remember what muscles are actually being used. Remember, know what muscle you're hitting and it will be easier workout for you. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, yourpersonalcoach24 at gmail.com.